I was, I was sitting one night with a group of Muslim men in the Middle East during Ramadan, uh, and I, I told him how God has come to us in the person of Jesus. And one of the men just immediately stopped me and said, that is not true. God would never debase himself by becoming like us. His, his character, he said, is too great for that. So I said, I agree that God's character is great, which is precisely why he came to the earth as a man. And this guy said, I don't understand. And I said, well, let me just tell you a story and ask you a question. And the guy said, okay. I said, the story is about me and a girl. I said, I loved this girl. I wanted to marry her. So when it came time for me to tell her how much I loved her and to ask her to marry me, do you think I sent one of my friends to relay that message to her for me? And the guy said, well, no, of course not. You need to be the one that goes and tell her you love her and, and you want to marry her. I said, exactly. I need to go and tell her myself. Why? Because when you love somebody, you go and you tell them yourself. And he said, yeah, that's right. So I said, this, this is how I know God's character is great. And he is infinitely loving. He loves us so much. He didn't just send this person or that person, this prophet or that prophet. He came to us himself to tell us, to show us that he loves us, desires relationship with us. Yes, we proclaim who Jesus is, the Son of God, God in the flesh, and we proclaim what he has done. The gospel is the good news that Jesus has lived the life we couldn't live, a life of perfect, sinless obedience to the Father. He was fully tempted by sin, yet fully, fully triumphing over sin. And then, though he had no sin for which to pay for, to experience punishment for, to die for, he died. And he died for what reason? He died the death you and I deserve to die in our place as a substitute for us. He died for your sin and for my sin. He died for us. So put it all together. The beauty of the cross of Christ in light of all that we're talking about because at the cross what we see is God in the flesh experiencing the full judgment due sin. And during the fullness of a judgment against sin and in the process enabling salvation for sinners. His justice and wrath, yes. His mercy and love, yes. So is God just towards sin? Absolutely. Look at the cross. Is God merciful and loving towards sinners? Absolutely. Look at the cross. Jesus has lived the life we couldn't live. He died the death we deserve to die. And then he conquered the enemy we could not conquer. Sin and death itself. He rose from the dead. And Jesus is alive, which makes salvation possible for all.